Hello. Hello to nobody. <sighs> one more day, one more life. A life. <clears throat> Yeah, I think that's better. <clears throat> Hello. Today we're going to take it slow. I am going to take it slow. Uh, how I am? I am fine. Seven Moody is asking how I am. I am fine. I'm okay. Reflecting from the from the one we did yesterday with uh, david the life i had so much trouble with that life i had so much trouble with technically had so much trouble that i couldn't keep my thought my thoughts together i can i couldn't think i couldn't talk to the to the person in front of me i was just Shit, everything is going down. He's glitching. Ah, oh, this is not good. Ah. Oh. Yeah, that was my 90% of my brain. And the rest was like, <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> good morning, people. Um... Namaste to you. What does namaste mean exactly? Is it like hello, good goodbye? I've heard that it's like uh, thank you. Some in, in namaste. Somebody explain to me. How do you guys hear me now? Better? I hope it's better. I think the problem yesterday was uh, I was trying to use another software. Um, I was trying to use another software, uh, make it a professional cast. But I got buried down so much into the technical stuff of the podcast that I couldn't actually make the podcast. And this talking in front of camera kills me, really. I'm not used to talking in front, in front of camera. I am totally not built for this. I'm nervous, I'm sweating, Ugh. and uh, yesterday uh, my heart was pounding all the time because of this. Tell me something to get motivation. You're alive. <laughs> Think about all the people that died. <laughs> Isn't this motivating? No, sorry, yeah. Um, no, some, uh, the, the thing is the, that I need, uh, also some motivation these days. I find myself burying my head into a little bit meaningless stuff that I don't really want to do, but it's like getting distracted. My monkey brain is working on me really, really well. Uh, so yeah another day um, hi Zdrast the Pepsi software and I couldn't set it up and I thought we got it figured out but the moment we started casting yesterday uh, the internet connection gave up, I guess my microphone gave up or I didn't 
managed to 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 set the the settings correct i didn't know what i was doing in totally and yeah this is why i was not I, you couldn't hear me, and then I was not totally there, and stuff like this. Uh, yeah, Sam M. Thank you. Um, you know what is the problem? The problem is that I, in my professional career i never i i was in front of camera but i was never shooting on my own in front of camera usually when i perform and usually when i do uh, the clown i have people and i am glued up with my clown being with my character i'm glued up to the people and when I I'm, I'm I'm functioning much 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 better when I have hundred people in front of me, uh, and I can see their face and I can see their their uh, reaction right away. That gives me much more than uh, than what I'm looking at right now, because what I'm looking at right now is just my laptop and myself. And that's not nothing close to performing. <clears throat> what are you going to talk about today? Mm, I don't know. Talk, talk about, I want to talk about uh, what I'm missing. I miss the energy of the crowd. Now that uh, everybody's in isolation, now that everybody has to stay home, uh, and the weather is so goddamn nice, really, really nice weather here. I, in my normal situation, I would be pumped up to make a show. But at the moment, I'm not able. And it it is really weird. And I have to, if I want to stay connected to people, if I want to have an audience in some way, I have to talk to this guy in front of me here, the camera, which is totally not the same thing. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm still reflecting from the, the stuff from yesterday. I'm repeating myself, but yeah. Um, I invited David because he's an interesting guy and he can talk. Uh, and he's one of those people that, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, I'm free. Yeah. So the reason, this this was the reason that I wanted to talk to him. Uh, but getting into all these uh, technical, I just, as I said, I just buried myself in this uh, situation and I didn't know how to how to fix it. I was barely in the conversation. And I forgot to mention that this guy, the reason that I the reason that I invited him on in the first place, recently I started uh writing my my stories, my my thing, what I what I experienced on the I don't want to call it a book. That that's it. I don't want to call it a book. It's not a book yet. It, I don't know what it is. I just started writing and it's going to be something at some point. I don't know. Uh, and I started talking to him recently uh, because he already wrote a book and he said, uh, well, if you want to understand 
a little bit more about book writing. Why don't you read my book? And uh, he sent it to me. This is what he sent. David Stay. He wrote exactly about the time, uh, about his generation. And the time uh, of change between the modern, the, the 80s and the 70s style busking and what is called the modern, the modern, what we call the modern times like now, where you have internet, where you have, uh, uh, where you get uh, all this uh, technology that uh, you can, before that, in, in order to get in contact with people, you had to go where the people are. Now you can sit like this at home and uh, be on your own and talk into your computer or into your phone even. And it's easy enough to get an audience this way. Um, yeah, this is why we started talking and I wanted to present also the book. But yeah, yesterday we got, I got... Uh, overwhelmed with everything ah uh, and the other thing is that i didn't realize that uh having a go front of me and having having a conversation in, in uh, with a person in front of me and having a conversation online those are two different things i don't think of i didn't think of it this way so uh yeah um, i was just and i wanted to say that and i wanted to say all that um i'm sorry but i don't know where you are from i am from bulgaria i think i'm gonna start and <laughs> i think i'm gonna start every life with this hello people i am the bulgarian speaking or it's just like uh um how do you call this uh the, the <laughs> do you remember these uh the the um, thing and you have uh notes that are coming like this i'm gonna be once upon a time there was this bulgarian that tried to make a podcast <laughs> uh yeah, so this is this is it, I think. Ah, and the, the other thing, I don't want to call it a podcast. I was thinking today about um, something like a life. We are life, we are a life. This is a life. Because we are alive. It's not, we're not dead. And we're our life I am talking about my life or my the things that are happening around me wear a shirt for saying I am from Bulgaria if I wear a shirt I am from Bulgaria you know how many people are going to avoid me <laughs> uh, not Bulgarians yeah it's uh, Balkans, uh, for those who are not from Europe, the Eastern European bloc and the Balkans in general, we have a very, uh, un not so flattering reputation. Uh, people from the Balkans, they are considered third hand or, or uh, second hand or third hand uh, people or they used to be like that uh, especially especially Romanian Bulgarian these are the poorest countries in Union and usually these these people are not very educated and when, when, when they go to Western uh, the first world countries like Germany or like England and so on, they, they get uh, the, the, the cheapest work 
they can find the the, the lowest uh, work they can find, or so it was before, not now, not now, but we kind of drag our reputation like that. And uh, yeah, when I do my show on the street, I pass the hat and I go around and uh, talk to people also. Uh, they are like, hey, where are you from? And I said, Bulgaria. Oh, and there is like, oh, wow. We didn't know that Bulgarians could do that. So yeah, it's a little bit surprising for them that, uh, and the other thing is, I don't look Bulgarian. I look totally Western European. Some people say I look Italian also, <laughs> which is funny. Uh, yeah, because I imagine Italians in a totally different way. But yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh... Hi, Peter. Sorry, I'm, I'm reading a comment. Hi, Peter. I don't know how many people have asked that to you, but is there a chance we both can get in touch regularly, like Instagram, if possible? Okay. Um, I would answer Instagram. Recently, I had this situation where with the, with the viral videos and everything, uh, I left my Instagram online, and I left my uh, on on my website. There are there are coordinates that you can get in touch with me. But uh, there was one or two guys. I think they were from India. Uh, that kept calling me. They they somehow found my uh, my phone number, and because I didn't have an agent by that time. Uh, they found my phone number and they started ringing and my phone is ringing like 11 o'clock at night. And that's not, that's not good. Uh, I like talking to people, but there are privacy boundaries, I guess. And at, at least I feel it this way. If you want to talk to me, send me an email or write me in uh, Facebook or write me in uh, in the Instagram, but don't call me. I mean, we're not that close yet. I don't know who you are. I don't know. And it feels weird. I don't want to be um, an asshole about this. I don't want to, to get people, oh, it's, it's popular. It's not about that. It's like, I have a personal life, and uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I had this these these problems. I mean, um, nobody has called me uh, recently, but I had this problem, so it's kind of. Uh, um. Oh yeah, that's a good uh, that's a good question. Ronak Goyal again, Ronak. Uh, thank you. I think I see you for the third time, or maybe all the time you have been uh, following. So, uh, you tell us about what kind of permission do you need to do a street show in Europe? Most uh, most of the time. Um, smaller cities and uh, smaller district, they don't, they don't get uh, street shows. They don't get uh, many entertainers. Therefore, they don't have rules for that. If you happen to get into such a such a small uh, place, that's 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 nice. But most of the bigger places that are um, where we're talking about a little bit uh, with David yesterday. 
that it's overcrowded. Bigger places are overcrowded and the, the municipalities are having problems with this and they try to come up with programs and restrictions and uh, permission uh, systems that would eliminate unwanted elements. Therefore, it's harder for pe people like me and him and uh, the people who have decent shows to go and to work. Just go out working you have to have a, some kind of the document the police is coming and you're making too much uh, noise or uh, you're using unauthorized uh, bigger amplifiers if you're a working musician or something like this or if you have like a show that is in this in this uh, like you have a uh, amplifier set up with a microphone and everything you're not allowed in many places in with this uh and it's harder to get these uh permits but usually what you have to do is you have to go to the cultural uh department of the municipality and ask about uh, street uh street performing or easier way just find a policeman if you're on the street just find a policeman and say i'm sorry I am a street artist. I would like to work here. Is it possible? And if uh, I need a permit, how do I get one? This is what happened to me last summer when I was in uh, Lugano. I made three shows and it was wonderful on the square. But on the third one, I was uh, stopped by the police because apparently I wasn't allowed to work on this particular spot because no shows allowed there and this is what happened i asked uh, i apologized i'm sorry i'm for the first time here and please tell me how can i get a permit and uh, the police the policeman just escorted me to the place where i can get the permit uh and said yeah you get a permit from here and that's it they will help you most most uh, police people are really nice and friendly here in the western part of Europe. Uh, da, da. Общуваш ли с българи в чужбина имаш ли такива приятели? Любо. Здрасти, Любо, пак. А, така. Um, Lugo is asking if I'm uh, communicating with Bulgarians. There is this thing uh, that we say about Bulgarians that uh, if you go outside the country, don't get in touch with any Bulgarian. Just, just run away from Bulgarians. And it's kind of true. Um, Lugo, I haven't got... I don't have many uh, Bulgarian friends. I don't do much uh, communication here because they're not in my circle it's not that i don't like to 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 talk to bulgarians it's i don't have much to to say to them and this is because of the stuff that i do most of the people that i meet in bulgaria it's um plane of life so to say in a different surface and they're thinking about different stuff. I'm an artist, or I, I am part of me is an artist. Therefore, I, if I am uh, communicating with someone, I would like to talk about, you know, the, 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 not, not, the, not the things in the daily life. This is not what inter interests me when I, when I try to, to make a connection to someone. And there are several people that... Um, I can say, yeah, I can talk to these people, uh, but most of the most of the people are not in this in this plane. So even if I talk to them, it's just about um, it's not like a a friend to friend thing. It's not I'm not opening that much to these kind of people. Uh... I thought you have a live guest interview. Yeah, a live own guest. 
No, this is uh, I'm too, uh, if uh, if the banner the, the 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 picture on the the screen at the moment is something else. I apologize for that. I'm still trying to figure out how the the streaming works and how I can I can provide the the needed information. At the moment, I just go. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie. Um, it's uh, Leon, the professional. It's about a hitman and a little girl. That's my favorite movie. bulk <laughs> yeah uh so um yeah this is what i wanted to reflect as i said earlier um i'm still trying to figure out this stuff here and i I'm still trying to find a topic to talk about. I really miss my shows. Um, and I really miss audience. I guess this is why I'm doing this. I guess this is why I'm putting myself out like that. Um, I never thought I will do this kind of stuff. Have you ever considered merch to sell? Some M. Uh, I don't consider myself an online businessman. I don't. You know, when when you get into this, uh, when you open your, your laptop or you open your uh, your phone and you start browsing the the, the web and uh, the, on Facebook or Instagram, and there are these in Instagram influencers that I, would you like to know how to make millions of dollars in a second? Blah, 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 blah. And it's like, I just completely block the moment I start seeing this. My brain is like filled up with, 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 with this in, useless information. And this is what I want to, to use the internet about. And this all keeps coming and, and it's like, uh, it's like a, a cancer thing that I don't want to be part of it. If I start putting out merch or something in this direction in my head, it looks like I am getting part of the problem of today and the problem of today is we are not getting in touch with each other we don't know i didn't know my neighbors until recently i didn't talk to my neighbors until recently and it feels weird we don't connect and it's not Nice. It is, we are not built for this. We are not, human beings are not built for online experience only. We are built for, for human to human interaction. Uh, uh, ne. No, uh, Lubu is asking if I'm sad. No, I'm not sad. I'm, I'm just not in character. <laughs> if I if I can say that I'm not sad uh, I'm serious or seriously thinking about that kind of stuff now this is my mode at the moment and uh, um, whenever I have some some stupid things to think of yeah I'm 
I'm going to be into that. But at the moment, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to process where I got, where I did mistakes yesterday and how can I get it done better technically and personally, psychologically. This is what I'm trying to figure out. Lubimia Mivit, uh, my favorite short story, my favorite joke. Uh, I'm going to say it in Bulgarian because I think it works better in Bulgarian. Твоя вид на Кени. Кени много харесваше преди сега. Харесваше, аз говоря много време. Кени харесва first hook lines. Много кратки вицове. Един от които е отива един пред доктора и вика Докторе, губя си мисълта. Това от кога ви е? Кое? Това е. Ще го кажа в английски сега. Това е джоке. Това е Кенни's джоке, моят учител. Това е един джоке, един джоке, един джоке, или много, много шорти истори. Това е джоке, Uh, a guy goes to the doctor and says, I thought you have this. Since when do I have what? And again, uh, it's really hard to talk and to say jokes in front. This is weird. Really, this is weird. I'm talk I am... I am looking into the camera at the moment and it feels so unnatural to me. That... And if I if I look a little bit down, this is where my uh, my face is. And I'm talking to myself at the moment. I'm looking at myself and I'm talking to myself. <sighs> so yeah. And <laughs> No set, no. <laughs> uh, we, I just covered uh, 30 minutes of uh, nonsense. And thank you. I think this is it. I think this is, uh, I don't want to, to blabber uh, more. We're going to close the session. I am going to close the session. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you for... Uh, <laughs> Thank you for cooperating. <laughs> uh, do you post Instagram videos as well? Yes, I'm going to include my uh, Instagram uh, uh, handle in in the description of this video. I, I'm going to write it now. Wait a minute. I'm going to check. Let me check if if this is exactly what my Instagram. This, this is the thing. This thing is called a smartphone. And because it's called a smartphone, it makes us stupid. I don't remember my phone number. I have it written in this. If I lose this thing here, if I lose it, I lose 90% of my life, which is sad and funny in the same time. Do you think, how many of you think if you go on a desert island, if you crash somewhere on a desert island and you, or not in a desert island, but you lose all your, your uh, belongings, you lose everything, like you get stripped out naked and you get a phone call. to get your life back. Do you know who you're going to call? Do you have a phone number in your head that you can say, uh, yeah, okay, and you can dial this number? How many of you, how many of us know a phone number? I used to know 20. When I was a teenager, I used to know my father's 
my 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 family the landline i had a couple of friends uh neighbors and stuff i used to know these like in here they were in here but because i don't use them or it's just a click of a button i don't have to have them in my head anymore you can keep backup files online yeah if you remember your password and you have uh, um, an internet connection, go in the middle of Siberia and tell them uh, you need a Google Drive access. What do you think will happen? <laughs> it's, it's amazing. I was about to say... <laughs> my <laughs> ah, yeah anyway uh yep i'm gonna write it down now so this is at yeah this is the uh instagram where you can follow me. Another thing about uh, social media and, uh, and stuff like this, you don't see a lot, of, um, a lot of internet content that I post. Again, I don't consider myself an online uh, thing. I don't consider this yet. I don't consider this uh, a serious, uh, thing therefore and i don't consider myself an influencer i don't want to call myself influencer never this is like a dirty word for me uh, don't post when i don't have anything to say if i post something i post it because there is a reason for that i am promoting show or i'm just uh, in a mood for posting and i have an idea in my head i saw somewhere something and i'm putting it online so the people that are following me can see it i don't want to flood the internet space and your devices with a series hello we're gonna make something stupid today this is why why do you need that Okay, people, that's it. That's it for now. Later on, tomorrow or the day after, we're going to make, I'm going to make more. I have to start talking as we. We, there is nobody else. We, it's me. <laughs> me, only me here, talking to you. Okay, thank you for uh, the connection. Thank you for the questions. And thank you for letting me speak out. And uh, yeah, see you again soon. Bye.